Hey guys, what is going on? This is I, Apple Geek, and today Coolstar has pulled through the toxicity of the jailbreak community and has provided us with a jailbreak for iOS 11 through 11.1.2. Today is the day, guys, we finally get to see a jailbreak on our latest and greatest devices. Now this will support a bunch of different devices, I will go ahead and put them all in the description of this video, along with any download links for anything in this video that you might see. Do keep in mind that this jailbreak will only work if you're on 11.0 through 11.1.2, not anything above. There is a good chance that we will see a jailbreak for other higher firmwares soon. Be sure you subscribe to the channel, I'll be updating you guys on that. So bringing over this iPhone here, this is actually an iPhone 6S that is on iOS 11.1.2. So what you're gonna need to do, of course, is to connect your device to your computer, whether it be a Mac or Windows PC. Once you've done that, go on your computer. If iTunes pops up, be sure you close out of iTunes completely, and then go to these links I will provide in the description. First of all, download Cydia Impactor if you don't have it already. Of course, there's links here for whichever computer you have. Next up, go to Coolstar's website. Make sure you go to the right one. There might be some weird mirrors out there. I'll be sure to link this in the description. And then come in here, scroll down a little bit. There is a download button. If that doesn't work, try the Mega Mirror right here. Go ahead and download. The current latest version is 1.0. Obviously, there's gonna be more. Of course, there is also some other important information that you should definitely read through. There is some information on future restore, downgrading, stuff like that. I'll be sure to cover that in another video. And in here, it does warn you that many packages need to be updated for Electra and iOS 11. I mean, Cydia itself is not yet updated. This is a patched version called Substitute, Cydia Substitute, not Cydia Substrate, that we're going to need to install right after jailbreaking. All right, so once you have those things downloaded, go ahead and head to Cydia Impactor. I'm going to go ahead and pull it up right here. Now, Cydia Impactor requires an Apple ID without two-factor authentication in order to work. And the problem is a lot of the newer Apple IDs has this option on by default. Some people can't disable it. So I'm gonna show you a workaround to that. So first of all, go to this website I have in the description. So you're gonna wanna go to this website here. Uh, it's gonna ask you to log into your Apple ID. It, this is the official Apple ID portal. And of course, if you have two-factor, it's gonna send you a code in order for you to properly log in. And once you're in here, it's gonna look something like this. Uh, excuse me if I do have this blurred out because this is my personal Apple ID. So the first thing you wanna do is find the security tab and there's an edit button right here. Go ahead and click on that. And here you have a generate password button, an app specific password. So if you go ahead and hit this, I'm gonna label this JB for jailbreak, hit create. This is gonna give you a code that kinda of looks like this. I'm gonna go ahead and copy and paste this to a note. You can put this code into City Impactor as your Apple ID password, not your normal password. Use this as the new password with all the dashes, and it's going to let you log into your Apple ID in City Impactor. But for the purpose of this video, so I don't have to do this over and over again, I'm going to go ahead and just disable two-factor authentication altogether. You may or may not want to do this because this will disable some features on your iPhone, like Apple Pay Cash. So I'm gonna go ahead and click this button on the website, turn off two-factor, gonna turn off, it's gonna ask for some security questions. And if you're successful, you should get a notification that looks like this, two-factor has been turned off. So I'm gonna go back to City Impactor, I don't need the app-specific password now. I'm just gonna go ahead and drag the Electra file we downloaded and put it into City Impactor. And of course, it's gonna ask for your Apple ID, the one that we just, we just got the code for, or if you decided to turn off two-factor, Use that one, and it should start installing the file. Please flame. Now, if you get this error, the provisions CPP81 error that says you already have a current iOS development certificate, blah, 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 blah. There is actually a way to fix this inside of City Impactor, so go ahead and close out of that error. Go up top to your status bar, and on Windows, this should be somewhere in the preferences. Uh, I'm not exactly sure. If you guys can comment that below, that'd be really helpful. Um, go ahead and click on this. Find the Revoke Certificates button, click on that, and then put in your Apple ID and your password, of course. And if you're successful, it should say Revoked Certificates, whatever number that may be, and that is good. This is just from me playing around with the iOS 10 jailbreak last year. We will now return to our regularly scheduled program. Thanks, Fweez Flame. All right, so once you've got that in, it should start installing the Electra app on your device. Extracting package, verifying and complete as you guys can see there we have the Electra 
jailbreak app right there. So now we have no more need for the computer. So I'm just gonna go ahead and head to my device. You'll see the Electra app on your home screen. It will not let you go in. You have to go into settings general and scroll the way down to uh, profiles and device management and in here uh, click on the profile that looks like your Apple ID go ahead and hit trust and now you'll be able to go and open up the Electra jailbreak so I'm just gonna go ahead and open this up make sure the tweaks button is on hit jailbreak and the process should begin and you should see this little pop-up here that says APFS backup or snapshot. This will basically create like a time machine backup for your phone. Remember Apple introduced a new file system a little while back, the Apple file system, APFS. So it's going to create like a backup. So in case your device ever does something weird, you can use a tool called semi restore to go back to that. I'll be sure to talk about this in another video. So stay tuned. And then you can then log I'm going to go ahead and device. continue jailbreak and the process should continue. Your device should have this quick little respring cycle should take like a minute. Scroll over and you should have Cydia on your home screen. So opening up Cydia now uh, is going to load up the sources. There should be some installed by default. I'm not sure if this is left over from my last jailbreak, but there should be uh, Coolstar's own, the substrate compatibility layer and some other utilities that we need to install. So if you guys look in here, uh, Electra's iOS utilities, these are actually some of the things that usually come with Cydia and uh, Coolstar has made like custom versions of this so that way they would work on iOS 11, which is absolutely awesome. And if you guys see any updates here in changes, uh, like Cydia installer, if you actually click on this, it says 11.30, which is the latest version, but Coolstar 4, which is, <laughs> which is very interesting. This is a custom version of Cydia, not officially updated, but it's been patched by Coolstar to work with iOS 11. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hit upgrade, upgrade essential, and confirm. Remember guys, Acidia Substrate will not work on this. We will have to install some other packages. All right, so once that updates, Acidia should crash. You can go ahead and open that up again. All right, so I finally managed to get Acidia to uh, manually refresh. It looks like the packages are in. Now we can search for subs and come in here, install substitute, hit continue or queue it up and then install substrate compatibility layer, install that and restart Springboard. Never have I been more glad to tap that button. As a quick note, do not try to install Substrate Safe Mode. It is not updated to iOS 11. I can confirm that it does not work as of right now. Just install the essentials from Coolstar. All right guys, so that is how you guys jailbreak iOS 11 through 11.1.2. Remember guys, this is a Cydia substitute right now. A lot of tweaks are not working. I haven't been able to really find one just yet. But as you guys can see here, I am jailbroken on 11.1.2 with the latest version of Cydia, the patch by Coolstar. And in the coming days, I'll be making jailbreak videos as tweaks get more compatibility. So be sure you subscribe to the channel for that. All right, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it helped. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace. Thank you.